Okay, so here we go on the start of the Brojo Cup. This is the number 17th Brojo Cup. Really looking forward to this one. So let's see how this pans out. Gorilla is a new participant to this tournament, but Atemu is a uh, returnee. So let's see how he can he uh, well he he manages against Atemu, who is a very very violent Nagoyuki player. Also, thank you very much, Alex Bolkun. Follow Sita. I'll be in and out and pseudo lurking. No problem. How come on? What's Gorilla playing? He's playing a gorilla. <laughs> He's actually playing on me, which is, yeah, it, it can be the point as a gorilla, but it's hard to use gorilla, I guess. Better be playing Leo. Not even, man. I was eating dinner. That's too bad. So sad. Okay, and here we go with the first round. Actually going to gorilla, going completely ham in the corner, but manages to, well, unfortunately gets hit, uh, gets air grabbed by Atemu, who manages to switch position and gets a wall break for positive bonus. There you go with the dance from Gorilla, unfortunately finishes the dance while Atemu just jumps on his head. And just like this, Atemu is going to take it with the 6H for the wall break and the kill. Okay, we have one round of peace. Who is going to take the very first match of this tournament? We shall see in a couple of seconds. Okay, let me check real quick if nobody is asking for me. No, yes, no news, good news. Anyways, here we go with the 6H for the wall splat yet again. And Gorilla uses the dance to go through the far the 2S actually from Atemu manages to get the grab. There we go with the tick pressure. Ah, goes for the Nagiha. Unfortunately, Atemu was aware of it. Then oh, and goes for the command rep for the kill. First round goes to first match goes to Atemu. Very nicely done. Atemu, very decisive as always. Good stuff from him, but very good stuff from Gorilla as well. Managed to take the first round with Anji, nevertheless. We go with the Fujin, he tries to go for the hop in order to get the grab, unfortunately gets stuck by Atemu, but still manages to keep the pressure on and is going to get the wall break. Fortunately, Atemu does a very late, uh, a very late burst right there. That is a little bit unfortunately for Atemu, he's gonna get wall broken with an overdrive, which means he's gonna have a hard knockdown. Here we go, very nice, just defend right there, just guard from Atemu, manages to get the close S counter hit in anti-air. Here we go with the pressure with the clone, try to bait that burst, but at Gorilla being very, very respectful of, of the pressure and doesn't burst for free. He tries to close the distance with the Fujin, but unfortunately gets hit by the 2k for the kill by Atemu. Very nicely done. Okie dokie, here we go with the second round. Um, very nice attack right there from Gorilla. He's got the corner positioning. Oh, uh, messes up his Atemu. His, uh, his Atem <laughs> messes up his uh, Nagiha timing, but still very nice conversion right there from Atem. Catches uh, Gorilla out of the air with his 2k and manages to juggle with uh, another move that I can't quite remember what he did, but he managed to juggle off of it, which is pretty impressive by itself. Here we go with Atemu and the overdrive for the wall break. Thank you very much for the follow, Lilium, and welcome to the Brojos. And here we go with the clone, the fake clone right there. Oh, and Gorilla bursts at the crack. Oh my lord! And that Kachofu gets you right at the end of the dance and even has the second bar in order to maximize the damage. Goes for the. Oh, the, uh, the butterfly. Ah, he's gonna get in tired. Good use of the BRC right there from Atemu. Manages to get the second match as well. Gorilla on his last legs right there. He's going to make. He's going to have to make something happen, or else he's going to be sent to the losers. And here we go with the counter hit yet again. Ah, my lord! And that big 2D counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. Look at this. And, and bear in mind that Andre has one of the best guts in the game. And Regardless of that, like, oh my lord, though, but Gorilla with the grab right there. That was an unfortunate meaty from Atemu. Probably mistimed it and got grabbed in the uh, process. That being said, here we go with the... Oh, that big shimmy. Oh, that that must have felt so good. You can see that Gorilla wants that burst. He wants that burst so bad, but Atemu doesn't want to give it for free. Here we go with the BRC. Double BRC. You want to be yourself. BRC you back. And here we go with the clone and gets entire by a standing... P, good stuff from Atemu on point. We are on set point, by the way. Gorilla needs to make something happen right about now, or he's going to be sent into loser's racket. Here we go with oh the side switch. Very nice six P though. Gorilla has been on point with the entire. It's not gonna lie. Tried to beat that burst. Unfortunately, Atemu delayed it just enough in order to be able to uh, hit it with uh, to hit it to hit Gorilla with it. Here we go with no side right there from Gorilla. He wants to keep. 
the oh the bar and here we go with the brc conversion confirms that Atemu is uh, already committing to uh, an offense right there and uses the downtime to punish the startup of uh, D2S of Atemu. That being said, here we go. Very nice, very nice Abare right there from Gorilla. Presses the button exactly where he needs it. Thanks to this, he gets the momentum back. Almost got the juggle, but uh, but drops it, unfortunately, yet again. Okay, here we go. Uh, Atemu out of the... Out of the corner, that time around, Gorilla manages not to get hit by the command grab. Couldn't quite punish that back dash though. We go with the two S two ah five inches. Oh lord! Atemu pushing Gorilla in the corner. Very nice dance, but oh, we go with the air to our in in favor of Gorilla. He manages to get the burst off of Atem, but Atem manages to hit him. Oh, dance! She delayed. She canceled it a little bit too late, and because of this, he was in recovery frames. Still versus. Eru. So let's see how this is going to pan out, man. Yo, Zenis, how are you doing, man? Hopefully, I oh, we do have a chip today, and it's none other than Tsuboy, by the way. So yeah, definitely, you should be looking forward to it. Hopefully, Tsuboy is going to fascinate us today as well, since he made actually top two, I think. Oh, no, he actually managed to win? I think he managed to win, yeah, Tsuboy did last time. So yeah, definitely, you should be looking forward to his, uh, his performance today as well. That being said, here we go with Eru and the grab and he goes for the fake empty low and actually hits his opponent uh, overhead a very nice way to opening him up and Eru is currently in with the life lead and punishes the 2 hs attempt from Stella good stuff from Eru right there and very nice recognition from him as well we'll go with the air to air in favor of Eru he's got the pressure no no dolphin right there he got oh he goes for a uh, very nice he goes for the fake uh, the fake projectile pressure right there and grabs his opponent. Uh, very, very, I don't know if it was intended. If it was, that was really sick actually because the timing is probably very tricky to do. That being said, here we go. And your bar from Stira manages to get out of the corner. Uses the uh, double overhead by uh, using the, uh, what's it called? Yuzons in continuation of his jumping S. With the corner pressure, Eru not using Mr. Dolphin in order to extend the pressure. Goes for the command grab. This is burst safe. Oh, Lord! This is burst safe. Yeah, this might be death, actually. Yeah, yeah, he goes straight for the other overdrive to prevent Stara from having the time to use the burst. Here we go with the projectile, and Stara just letting the overdrive rip. Unfortunately for him, he gets dolphined at the end. Good stuff from Eru gets the first match pretty convincingly. But it's okay, Stara takes some time usually to, you know, get started. So it's definitely not over till it's over. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the second round. Just one second, guys. It goes some. Len Lakuga, not get rid of. One taking guys, sorry. Ah. Good stuff from Eru takes it. Yeah, I have a a bit of a problem. Miura Kenta san ga irashita imasu de shou ka. Itara eto sasoku taisen aite ni renraku onegai shimasu. Ne renraku suru yo onegai shimasu. この試合が終わるまででお願いします。そうしないとアウトにさせていただきますね。はい、and here we go with Eru and Mr. Big Freaking Whale for the kill. <laughs> Thank you, Zenis. Very much appreciate. How are you doing, Zam? Welcome. Good evening. And here we go with the 
third match right there. Still out with the air to air jumping is very nicely done. Got the counter hit. Couldn't quite get the juggle though. Oh, but he's got the burst, which is very, very good right there. He's going for the tatami pressure. He's got the Kabari in the corner. Goes for the fake cross up and actually it lands in front and finishes with the overdrive. It's not gonna kill because guts. <laughs> I went to follow and realized I did it last time. <laughs> That's cool, man. Very much appreciated, Zenith. And here we go with the kill. Finally, still actually bringing some momentum back in his favor. And here we go with the Kabari. And here we go with the Kabari yet again. And here we go with the Kabari yet again. Sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have to look at the, uh, at the bracket because there is some people that are sending me, sending me message because they're having a little bit of a trouble. So 17. Okay, at 20 I'm going to. And here we go with. Oh, finally Stella putting one on the board. Good stuff. Okay, one say 20. Okay, bye bye. Disqualify. Shikaku. Miura Kenta san. Shikaku desu. Moshiwake nai desu kedo. Okay, let's start. Okay, okay, we're good. I'm sorry for the wait. And here we go with the Tatami Gai Shi and Stella with the overdrive for the hard knockdown. This is gonna be huge. Is this gonna. Nah, it's not, of course not, it's not. Got another friend in this tournament, let's go pirate. Oh, nice! Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Definitely, pirate is, uh, unfortunately not gonna be on stream. And he's gonna play RF too. So, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit hard, but don't, don't, let's not give up. Oh, lord! That freaking snipe from Stero, that was crazy, man. Holy freaking lord. And here we go with the jumping S counter hit, man. And Elu finally, ooh, yeah, struggling just a tiny bit right there. Gets grabbed on his way down. And still, I goes for the fake cross up, opens Elu up. Gets hit by the projectile, unfortunately. And here we go with the close S pressure right there from Elu. Ah, you press the button and you're going to die. <laughs> yeah, this is death. Wow, and Elu bringing it back, man. Here we go, one round of peace. This is set point, by the way. Let's see if Stella can bring back some of his magic. Ooh, no, anti right there, and the Totsugeki, oh lord, and here we go with the trade in favor of Stella gets the Oki. Oh no, gets jump on, gets forced to burst also, and here we go with the jumping ass, again with the Mr. Dolphin Man, has been pesking Stella so much, and here we go with the standing S. okay, here we go with the follow-up of the Kabari cancel with the Roman cancel in order to make it safe, Kabari pressure, goes for the grab, unfortunately, Eru was on point. Uh, here we go. Ah, uh, Eru got the jump in. Let's give the take pressure. Ah, uh, no entire. Ah, uh, still a little bit too shy to entire right there. Ah, uh, gets to, to get keyed. Oh lord, and Eru has the bar to extend. Is he gonna get a wall break? No, he's not. A little bit too far. Wow, lord, this is gonna do a lot of damage. It's not over. Here we go. Oh, he goes for the fake Kabari. Ah, uh, this unfortunately. うん。開始時間を、え、勘違いしておりましたも申し訳ありませんあ、大丈夫ですよ。えっと、三河はまた次回の、また次回の大会でお願いします。申し訳ありません。だけど、ご参加はまとりあえずご参加いただきありがとう
Wah, I don't wake up here lagi. Good lord, the disrespect. You want to disrespect? I'm going to disrespect you too. Unfortunately, Yaru, his close S hits the other way. This is so unfortunate. Is this going down to the wire? It might. And we're going to oh lord how many cannons can you put in the cannon that was crazy stuff and here we go ladies and gentlemen down to the final round of the final match sutera versus eru japan versus indonesia and eru gets first to blood he's gonna get a wall break decent damage kaboom get out of here and still uh, not out of this yet wants to get the jump in Eru definitely, yeah, both characters very strong. One of their the, the strong suits of both characters are the jump-in potential. So let's see who jumps better than the other. We shall see. Stella uses the RC to get an extension combo. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go, corner pressure. Oh, no, gets it by the RC. Wakes up, golden burst. No. Oh, here we go with the two burst. He's got the burst. No. What? What is this? 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 This was crazy! Holy freaking lord! What was this combo? And Speedy versus Lilium. Lilium, new uh, newcomer actually to the Brojo Cup. A Japanese individual right now who's rocking uh, probably a very, very mean testament. Let's see how this pans out. First part's fish in, so lots of expectations. <laughs> that being said, here we go with the jump in by Kohide. Unfortunately, yeah, the, the first first opponent is none other than Kohide, so definitely no slouch. Here we go with the Yoda pressure and finally forces Liam to pop the burst. That being said, here we go with the stain. Oh no, he gets hit by the aerial overdrive. T what? Not T Y. G Koki, they absolutely loves to use this super. Here we go with Ah uh, Liam trying to get Kohide out of the bag. No punish on the um on the spiral arrow. Very nice punish there on the spiral arrow that time around. We go with the stain state and gets the aerial skull right there. Oh lord! And gonna get hit by the Ventania. This doesn't kill, surprisingly. But that being said, Koita is very in very prime position to take it right now. Oh, gets hit by the 2HS. Lilium gets the combo. Oh, he's gonna... Ah, and very nice whiff punch right there from Koita. Waits for the lateral skull to get the hell out of his way in order to dash forward and whiff punish. The recovery of Lilium gets the... Spiral arrow counter it. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Ooh, I don't know if he dropped the combo if it was intentional. Very nice cojones right there from Lilium to use the six, <laughs> the six P of Testament at a uh, timing that I have to say is a little bit uh, not strange but surprising. Again with the six P right there. Very nice use of uh, Lilium six P. That being said, things are looking pretty bad and you can see Kohide waiting, just dashing a little bit forward, waiting for Lilium to throw something out and then dashing and punishing the recovery from uh, from Lillian. Good stuff from Kohida, takes the first match pretty convincingly, not gonna lie, but it's definitely not completely one-sided. There is, uh, there might be um, a, a, a possibility for, uh, for, uh, for Lillian to bring things back if they change a little bit of their game plan. Not too much, I suppose, but that being said, here we go with Lillian, gets hit by the grab in the corner, and here we go with Kohide and his grab loops. Okay, here we go. There, Bob Bar. Unfortunately, too late right there on the lateral skull in order to punish. Ah, and again, Kohide punishing that lateral skull, man. He's been on point on this. Like 10 on 10. He's been punishing it all the time, and he goes for the kick flip for the kill on the Okizeme. Very nicely done by Kohide. Takes the first round of the second match with the jump in from Lilium. Not afraid. Uses the TP to get out of the pressure, but gets clipped by the. Uh, spiral arrow of Kohide uh, during one of his uh, projectile attempts and again with the spiral arrow yeah Kohide doing it on reaction it seems man and here we go with the conver uh, the conversion station right there from Kohide he's gonna get the hard knockdown what is Lilium gonna do man we shall see here we go again with the kickflip that was a complete replay of the previous phase man good stuff from Kohide takes uh, the second match as well, he still needs one more if he wants to advance in the winner's brackets, but things are looking pretty bleak for Lilium, not gonna lie. Here we go again with the lateral skull, gets hit by the 2k 6p right there from Kohide, and Kohide, man, he's been, he's been eyeing these, uh, these lateral skulls so bad, man. He wants it so bad. Okay, here we go, yeah, okay, I, I feel like Lilium tried to chill a little bit of their projectile timing, but still... 
Oh, oh, we're gonna go kick flip no punish right there. I'll do cover of the kick flip. You can feel that Lydium is a little bit wary of pressing buttons right there. Thank you very much for the uh, follow, Nyanzer. Welcome to the Brojos. Here we go. And Lydium with the anti-airs right there. Yeah, catching. Oh, trying to get their momentum back. Oh, gets clipped by the 2S. What is gonna what is it gonna be? I guess hit by the kick flip. And just like this. Yeah, this is gonna. We are going on to the set point right there in favor of Kohide. What is Lilium going to do? We shall see. Lilium having a hard time to contain that freaking hurricane that Kohide is, man. Ah, and unfortunately for Lilium gets counter hit with the 2D of Kohide. The wall pressure, the, the wall pressure, the corner pressure is real. Ah, Lilium got the same state again, gets clipped by the, 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 the spiral arrow, man. Oh, very nice switch right there, too far to get the conversion juggle. Oh, gets grabbed. Oh, you hate to see it. Uh, what is it gonna be? And gets it. Oh, this is gonna be death. Yeah, this is death. Good stuff from Koki. The reactions on point. Definitely not. Uh, that being said, we are moving on to the uh, this battle. I'm just gonna update the predictions real quick. And ask you guys to wait just a couple of seconds. Here we go. Predictions are up and the game has started. And Haruki already with the minion pressure trying to catch Gobo fans out of the air. Manages to do so using a minion, by the way. That was pretty surprising. But Gobo fans gets the landing pressure. Tries to pin Haruki down, but Haruki just moving all around the freaking the freaking stage with the minion on his head. And here you go, gets the football kick right there. Okay, both players try to, uh, yeah, try to get their games going, but none of them will permit the other one to do so. That being said, Haruki is in prime po position of doing so. He's got Gobo Fence on the floor. That being said, here we go. Gobo Fence had some RC and could get a uh, pressure of his own. He's gonna get the wall break, but that being said, Haruki is full of, uh, full of resources. However, Gobo Fence get the 2S counter hit. Okay, what is... Oh, Lord, and he uses air. Air Gobo fans right there. <laughs> what is this? Is it? Is it, a, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Gobo fans. But unfortunately, yeah, Haruki had his uh, burst to get out of the pressure. I like how his name is Gobo fans. Yeah, I know, right? He's a very well, obviously. He's a Gobo fans. His real name is Renka, though. His, uh, his real name, uh, per se. His real handle is Renka. Lenka. So, R-E-N-K-A. But he likes to be called Gobo fans when he, when he plays... <laughs> in the Brojo Cup for some reason. That being said, here we go with the huge amount of damage that Gobo Fence just had right now. No entire red there, and he might live to regret it. Okay, it's luckily for him, he did have some burst. They run for the Follow Pirate King, and welcome to the Brojos, and good luck for the tournament. Again, here we go with the 2D. I got the grab, and Haruki is in really good position right there. He's gonna get the Illusion? Nope. Oh, he didn't have the tension. Yeah, my bad. I watched the wrong tension board. That being said, Gobo Fence is gonna pop that overdrive, but no one was home. No anti air. A little bit too far to get the anti air, anyways. Oh, Lord. Ah, yeah, you can see Gobo Fence getting a little bit irritated right there. He wants to pin Haruki down, but Haruki says, nope, not today. <laughs> not today, sir. I'm too cute to, to be pinned down. Good stuff from Haruki. Gets the first match. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the corner pressure from Ah Gobo fans. He's gonna get the knock. Ah, he's gonna get the corner pressure. That being said, he forced Haruki to pop the burst. Gobo fans using the RC to extend the pressure. He got Eddie back. Ah yeah. Okay, he gets the jump in. And uses the toe to catch Haruki out of the air. And this should do. Yeah, this is definitely gonna do. Boom! Get out of here. You're too cute to fight. Good stuff from Gobo Fence gets the first round of this second match. Okay, good stuff right there. Gets rid of the minion using the oppose. And here we go, the air to air counter. This is gonna do a lot of damage. No Eddie, but that being said, this combo actually, uh, this combo is so long that it permits Zato to get Eddie back uh, before finishing it. So it's actually the, the perfect, uh, very nice optimization right there from Gobo Fence. Gets the wall break thanks to the instant overhead. Well, not instant overhead, the quick dust. Here we go with the oppose again, but unfortunately gets hit by the minion for the follow-up. Ah, and Gobo Fence gets hit out of the air. Nice recognition that Haruki was on his recovery and uh, kind of messed up his meaty right there. Which gave Gobo Fence the uh, opportunity to 
gets some pressure of his own, gets grabbed though right there, right after the YRC. And here we go with the YRC. And Gobo fans aware that Haruki was gonna pop that burst, man. Good stuff. No entire though. Air to air. I uh, don't want to get in the corner with the minions. You hate this position. You don't want this. Oh, very nice. That tech was sick. Good stuff from Gobo fans. And puts one on the board on his own. Good stuff. One match apiece. What is going to be the unfolding of this? Wonderful match right here. We shall see. Oh, very big 2D counter hit from Haruki. He's gonna get the corner pressure. He uses the minion to pin Gobo Fans down. Even uh, puts a little bit of distance between him and the corner in order to catch Gobo Fans if he attempts to get out of it. That was really, really uh, nice reads from Haruki. Uh, all through all, and gets the knockdown with the 2D and the freaking. Uh, oh no! Nice burst there, and he's gonna get Elysium Driver right there. This is death. Good stuff from Haruki. Not only on the bait of the burst, but also uh, the bait on the wire C. Now uh, that was everything. That everything went in Haruki's way that time. Ooh, gets hit by the toad though this time. And Gobo Fan's definitely not out of it yet. He wanted that burst so bad, but Haruki, yeah, being very reasonable, they didn't want to give it to him. That being said, we go with the. the uh, the what's it called yeah the aerial shimmy i guess from haruki he tries to keep the pressure forcing gobo in the corner but gobo was just trying to yeah finally yeah there's only so much there's only so much uh getting away you can do not getting away the trying to like oh lord nice bears good stuff from gobo is he gonna get the conversion station he's got the toe to pin haruki down haruki pops the wire see ah oh, good abare from gobo that would have probably been uh, a pretty dire position. Oh, but he drops the combo. No Gobo. And he gets it with the grab. Good stuff from Gobo. Puts one round on the board as well. How is Haruki gonna... Uh, one round apiece, one match apiece. We have perfect... Um, a perfect uh, equality right there, if I might say. And here we go with uh, the wall break, though. From Gobo Fence, he does have the advantage of both burst, uh, tension, and also life right now. But this is not over till it's over. Haruki is in a little bit of a dire situation, not gonna lie. <laughs> and here we go with the quick does cancel, and this is probably gonna do it with Among Us. Is this gonna kill? It's probably gonna kill, yeah. Good stuff from Gobo Fence takes the lead 2 to 1. What is Haruki going to do? What are you gonna do, bruh? What are you gonna do, bruh? You like being pressured in the corner? You like your corner pressure? Yeah, this is what Gobo Fence said. You like to pressure people in the corner? Well, get a taste of your own medicine, yeah. Just freaking lord, man. The pressure of Zato in the corner is definitely second to none. And here we go with the entire by Haruki using the yet again the uh, what's called the minions to entire Gobo out of the air. This is really this is really in ingenious. And Gobo fans using the overdrive to extend his corner pressure. Didn't punish the 6 HS recovery right there. Probably was fearing the follow up uh, soccer kick, I suppose. El Gary go to wire. See Haruki trying to catch back some momentum. Yeah, he's got a huge life deficit, not gonna lie, and the bar from Gobo, man. Gobo fans again, man. Oh, he gets it, oh no! And Gobo fans pop the burst. I uh, get hit by the minion. Oh, lord. Oh, no. Yeah, Gobo fans trying to pin Haruki down. He knows that he absolutely needs to pin him down. Gets him with the... Quite gets the follow up. Oh, you're gonna live. Are you gonna live to regret it? Oh, he wants to kill so bad. He wants to kill so bad. He can feel it. Oh, yeah, but he's got the oh, the minion is out. And oh, no, he got hit by the minion. Good lord, Haruki, man. Good stuff. Still, yeah, keeping his head on his head, not overextending and managed to bring it back. Man, he was so close to dying. That was crazy. Here we go with air, air gobo fans <laughs> yet again. Yeah, oh. Here we go, Gobo Fence. Ah, definitely doesn't like to fight. Jacko. Okay, tries to catch him with the toad, but Haruki... Oh, Lord, got the hit with the soccer punch right there. <gasps> nice Abari from Gobo Fence. Get out of the corner. Uses the... Oh, Lord, the side switch, but Haruki on point. Manages to get the grab after the wire. He goes for the cross-up. Forces Gobo Fence to pop the burst. And Gobo Fence using the oppose... Okay, no burst. Oh, Lord, you hate to see it. This is the yellow Roman catch on the... Not yellow Roman catch, the gold burst. You hate to see it. Yeah, but that being said, Haruki did have to use one bar. Just on, oh, gets hit by the 6 HS, I think it is. And just like this, Haruki puts one on the board as well. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. 2-2, two to two. who is going to take it? We shall see. 
And here we go on to the final set of this, uh, of this, oh lord, the final match of this set. Uh, and Haruki gets the first blood, but Gobo fans recognizing that the uh, minions were going to F off <laughs> momentarily and just a bar is through uh, the reset attempt of Haruki. A very nice use of the uh, minions right there to get a, a far away pressure. Is he gonna get the? Yes, he did get the. Oh lord! That was a sick combo. Good stuff from Haruki. Didn't get the kill quite yet because probably of the. Uh, oh lord! What the hell was that? <laughs> the BRC combo. <laughs> the BRC festival. Good stuff from Haruki. Gets one up. Is Global Fans gonna be able to bring it? We shall see. Uses the quick dust right there to get the uh, pressure. Gets the wall break. Good stuff from Gobo Fan. Tries to take the air, but Haruki on point right there uses the minion to pin him down. No, you cannot take. I'm not gonna. Oh, and here we go with air Gobo yet again. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Gobo Fans. And here we go with the pressure in the corner. You have to hold it, Haruki. You have to hold it. And he wanted the YRC. Haruki using the perfect timing to use said YRC because Gobo Fans were definitely looking for it. Global fans wants to say in the winner's fine. Oh lord, and that freaking all oh, that guard point from Oh lord, yeah, a little bit too late, I think. Oh yeah, that was too late. Oh, but it did kill the, the minion, so that's that. Here we go the pressure and gets the quick dust, and he's gonna get no He still gets the kill, but that was that was that would that could have been really really bad. And we're on the last the final round of this last match. Who's gonna take it? Oh, unfortunate trade. Not even a trade, a clash right there. In favor of Haruki. Haruki gets the corner pressure with the grab. Goes for the MT low. He's gonna get the wall break. Resources looking pretty good for Haruki. He's got both burst and tension bar. But that being said, Global Fence opens the wall, uh, the post wall break with a 2S counter hit. He's got almost, he almost got the corner carried. But that being said, Haruki did have a burst which potentially saved his uh, winner's tournament life right there. Oh no, and you hate to see it. Uh, this is not enough to kill. He uses the freaking quick BRC for an instant over and then Haruki moves on to the next battle. RF versus Tsuboi, and I didn't change the flag of Tsuboi. Let me change it right away. Sorry. Yes, Tsuboi is from Japan. Yes, we are good to go. Ah, we might have a connection error. Ah, we, yeah, this is probably a connection error. Oh, or not. Oof. I was I was like one second away to send like a message in their in their chat. That being said, here we go. Every competitive game has this meta divergence in between the regions. Yeah, definitely. It does make sense, not gonna lie. Me personally, I do think that chip is very strong. But I that I don't know if it's a biased or anything, but I still think that the West is correct in the in saying that Happy Chaos is the strongest in the game currently. Because, you know, the freaking Happy Chaos versus Happy Kiaos versus uh, Eno is like cancer. <laughs> it's, it's really cancer. I hate this matchup so much. But it's definitely like more doable than what it used to be. Very nice punish of the uh, the um, command grabber right there from RF. Again, here we go with... Oh, oh Tsuboi trying to close the distance and gets hit by the bomb in the process. He definitely has some problem trying to... Oh, and here we go. He's got the minions to continue the... Yeah, the pressure. Here we go. He goes for it. Gamma Blade. Oh, he goes for the overhead. This is gonna be a wall break right there. Very nice for Tsuboi. Still a little bit far to get the life lead. Gets it by the uh, the dive, the dive that everybody loves. Oh, he gets off a blade and gets again with the dive and gets hit by the air to air right there from RF. Good stuff from RF. Takes the first match quite uh, convincingly. Not going to lie, but it's definitely not over till. So let's see what Tsuboi has in. Uh, in reserve right there. Uh, oh, very nice. No, that's unfortunate. He had committed to the aerial grab. And that made it so that when he reached, he couldn't, like, punish RF for uh, trying to, uh, command, command grab him. Ah, uh, that being said, here we go. Yeah, the pressure is real. Ah, uh, you hit to see it. Ah, uh, that pressure, man. Oh, gets hit by the weight. You hit to see it. Oh, here we go. The jump in. Good punish right there from... RF is gonna get the mix, 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 and the kill with the OTG using the overhead. Good stuff from o uh, RF. And here we go with the second match from this, uh, the second round from this second match. This boy definitely has some problems uh, closing the distance, man. Uh, no jump in. He goes for the overhead, but yeah, RF, RF just content to just block, man, all days. Gets. Oh no, that was a bad burst from Tsuboi. This is unfortunate. Uh, 
Yeah, good stuff. Oh, Lloyd, he's gonna get the juggle. <gasps> he's gonna get the kill. This was crazy. Good stuff. Oh, he didn't get the OTG, though. Ah, and he gets the kill with the 2k. Good stuff from RF. Gets another one on the board. And Tsuboy Sun and Dire Straits, he's going to stick with Chip, that being said. Let's see how this pans out. You're going to jump in. RF, no entire airs. Ah, I guess the hit with the freaking dive. You hate to see it, man. This dive is so annoying. I hate Faust's dive so freaking much. It's impossible to 6p because it, it hits so low that it, it basically it, it, it kills your 6p. And I freaking hate it. And here we go with the uh, the grab from Tsuboy. But unfortunately, RF gets the perfect timing for the gold burst and gets the hit in. He's got two bars. Ah, oh, gets the overhead and gets hit by the bomb and gets the conversion through it. That was sick. That was sick. Good stuff from RF. Holy freaking lord. That was a sick conversion, man. And here we go with the corner pressure. Tsuboy trying to keep uh, RF in the corner. Uh, he tried to get the jump in, but RF recovered way too quickly. Oh lord, here we go again with that head throw from RF. Gets the hit with the, I do believe it's the... 6s probably correct me if i'm wrong that being said ah the bomb oh lord and only freaking tsuboy got hit by this bomb this is so unfortunate and yeah tsuboy man tsuboy yeah tsuboy in dire straits what is he gonna do yeah this is probably dead yeah this is dead what do you want to do like <laughs> what do you want to do <laughs> what do you want to do man? oh lord it's not over he gets out of the corner tries to go for the overhead but rf on point with the blocks and gets that punish off of the over guys I, I i feel like if you watched any episodes of the brojo cup you already know who takarin is and i mean not even if you didn't watch like necessarily uh it, not even if you watched necessarily uh the brojo cup but other like tournaments online tournaments in japan takarin is basically prop I, I, I think we can honestly say that takarin is the best uh actual player in japan currently uh, so uh, yeah, extremely strong Axel player. He has won a countless amount of Brojo Cups in the past. Too many to actually like uh, like count. To be really honest, there's been what 70 Brojo Cups. He probably won like I suppose like 15 to 20 of them, like easily. Probably I, I feel like it's probably the case. And that being said, here we go with Takarin and the corner pressure, trying to keep Naidesa there and doesn't want him to get out of it. But Naidesa definitely no slouch himself. Extremely strong biking player. He can. Ooh, that backdash was sick. And he gets the kill with D2HS. Good stuff from Takarin. Naidesa not out of it yet. Here we go, the air to air trade. Naidesa trying to get the jump in and he's got it. He's gonna get the Kabar extension combo. No entire right there. And Takarin just content of jumping out. Oh lord, he gets a knockdown with the 2k2. The end, the snail follow up. He's got even the side switch. This is looking a little bit bad for Nidus. That being said, oh, is that gonna be enough? Oh, that's. Oh no! Oh no, Takarin gets hit by the calendar. Uh, the calendar, what's called? Uh, overdrive. Good stuff. Nidus tries to get the jump in, but gets hit by the 2s counter hit. Woo! Oh no, he's made it! He, he made it in! Good stuff from Nidusu! That freaking was crazy stuff right there from Nidusu. Baits the, uh, the, the, the burst and gets the punish accordingly for the kill. Tries to get the 2HS counter it, uh, the 2HS whip punish. Unfortunately, Takari's uh, recovery was a little bit too uh, quick for it to do so. And you can see yeah, Takari looking out for that jump in S right there and ready to press 2HS if need be. And yeah, Takarin just focusing on potentially laming Nidus out. Nidus definitely needs to get something going on. Oh, and he gets a counter hit. Oh, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go to the conversion station. This is not gonna kill by any means, but it's definitely gonna do a lot of. No! That what? No! No! Is that gonna hit? I think not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nidus did good. Nidus did good. I think it would have whiffed anyways. Good stuff from Nidus. Uh, and good stuff from Takarin, and we are going to get Here we go. Them. So let's see if Nidus can bring it back. It definitely, it, it could have gone seriously any ways. It, it could have definitely gone anyway. So, uh, good stuff from, uh, Takarin right there grabbing the uh, follow-up of the Kabari. This is, uh, yeah, this is a tech that people need to know. You can grab the follow-up of the Kabari if you time it right. The problem being timing it right. <laughs> and here we go with the entire right there of Takarin goes for the cross-up. Oh! Oh, nice air 2 air again from Takarin. Tries to get that 2HS, man. 
man! Gets the convert! Lord, that aerial conversion combo! That was crazy stuff from Takani. Gets the kill. Very, very, uh, very convincingly. Gets the grab yet again on the Kabari. Okay, tries to keep the corner pressure. Not overextending. This time around, he kind of overextended, though. But that makes sense. Okay, here we go again, man. The freaking recognition is gonna use the, the world right there to get an extension combo. That's a sick combo, by the way. Ah, uh, he tries to get the juggle, and here we go, the air grab, and Nidus is not on point with his air grab. Gets hit by the far K, uh, the, the two, the far P, I'm sorry. And just like this, I'm going up 2-0, that went extremely quickly. Let's see how this pans out. Again, on to the third match, potential final match of this set, we shall see again with this standing P, man. Wow, uses 2k to low profile the aerial attempt. Uh, from Nidus right there and grabs him on his way down. That was crazy, man. Here we go with the 6HS counter hit. Anti-air right there from Takanin pushes. Nidus ever so slightly in the corner. You can feel that Takanin is looking for the burst. Okay, ah, again with the Kabari gets hit by it. Good stuff. Here we go with the grab. He's gonna get a 50-50 right there and gets the correct answer. Ooh. I don't even know how not to get hit by this, by the way. Ooh, here we go with the jump. And no! And oh, no! Okay, here we go. Nice burst right there from Nidus. Uh, oh, we get stuff. Oh, the double counter hit right there from Takain. He's definitely not out of it yet. Takes the first round of this third match. Let's see if he can bring it back. That would be sick, by the way. Okay, here we go with... Oh, Lord, the 2HS. And he catches the backdash of Takarin. Very nice. Oh, dance right there from Nidus. If I might say, he goes for the late. He was on saying he's gonna get a very big, hefty combo. Is this gonna hit? It is. This is gonna kill. Good stuff from Nidus. That combo was sick, by the way. Kaboom, get out of here. Oh, again, here we go. Takani, not Takani. Nidus, not out of this yet. Puts one on the board. We have. Not yet a match, but it's still 2 to 1. It's better than 2 to 0, definitely. So let's see if Nidus can bring it all the way back. We shall see. Nice. L air right there from Takani gets the counter hit. L again, here we go. Gets it by the 2HS yet again. The 2S, by the way. I'm sorry, not 2HS. And that combo, man. Look at the damage. What? Axel doesn't have damage? How? Why? This is not true. Look at this. Again, here we go. Takani and man just content to uh, keep a little bit of distance between him as an opponent, but still dashes for just to, you know, to keep him, to keep the opponent guessing. And Nidus finally forces Takarin to pop the burst. I guess the jumping with the uh, the jumping S. Oh, uh, goes for a grab, but Takarin was out of it. Yes, no. That was sick. Oh, Lord. That was sick, man. Takarin on point, man. Not only punishing the grab attempt from Nidus, but also getting his burst in the process. It was crazy. Here we go with Takarin gets the grab. And the Lensen Geki gets the entire width. Oh, tries to get the entire width, the 6 HS. Gets the 2 H H S in, but cannot get a follow because the only follow possible is the snail, and it's way too far to get it. That being said, Nidus is not out of it yet. Tried to get the follow up of the jumping S with the uh, Yozan Sen, but a little bit too close to the ground to get anything going. That being said, Takarin goes on with the counter attack and the uh, what's it called the, um, the the world. Um, he tries to go for a fake empty low and goes for a cross up a overhead instead and gets the kill with the entire 2HS which unfortunately traded with the jumping one time watching Laprise's uh, Faust I believe Faust's uh, stream and you uh, rest assured you are going to find you are going to uh, look at a match with a Faust by the way a RF RF one of the best Faust in the world in Japan at least so yeah definitely sit tight <laughs> the Faust action is definitely not over <laughs> And here we go with the pressure from Haruki trying to keep RF in the corner. RF finds the way out and we're back in neutral. RF gets the hit with the uh, the spear right there. He is pushing Haruki ever so slightly in the corner. Very nice. Air to air to get rid of the minion. And here we go. RF with the mix, mix, mix. Pushing Haruki in the corner. Oh, this is, yeah, this is mix time. You have to hold it. Uh, RF not juggling with the bomb unfortunately gets hit by the 6hs counter hit by haruki haruki bringing some momentum back right there oh goes try to go with the air to air with the minions but unfortunately gets entire by rf rf using oh lord that would have been death right there thank goodness for the uh, wire but that being said he gets scooped by the uh the uh what's it called the dive from rf good stuff from rf a little bit close right there but it's still okay 
could Haruki couldn't quite punish the recovery from his spear. Oh, nice use of the 6 HS right there again to to enter the, uh, the, the 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 dive from RF. Good stuff, and here we go. We are in Haruki's domain right there with one very nice enter. We're using the 6 HS of uh, of um of Jacko and RF is out of the corner. No juggle right there from Haruki. Gets scooped by the 2K 2D. Good lord. And here we go with the pressure. No. Oh, good lord. He gets hit by the spear. You hate to see it. Oh, and also goes for the ball of 2D right there. Not the 2D, the 2, uh, I guess it's the 2S. I'm pretty sure it is. And just like this, RF takes the first round, the first match, actually, very convincingly right there. Haruki did some pretty nice stuff, too. It's definitely not completely one-sided. But you can see that the pace of the, the the match was more or less controlled by RF. Gets hit by the spear again, forces out to pop the burst. No entire right there. We go with the head attack. Finally, the minions are on set. Oh no! We go with Haruki. Gets hit by the command grab. He's got the beautiful afro on fire. You have to hold it. <laughs> RF getting hit by his own weight. Okay, again with the dive, man. You hit to see it and gets what the hell was it? How did he know? That being said, here we go with RF, tries to keep the corner pressure, got the Meteors, man, you love to see it, unfortunately, slips on his banana, gets the entire, but the 6 HS of Haruki, yet again, and Haruki with, ooh, lord, 6 HS is really doing the work, not gonna lie. Here we go, the YRC, RF, a little bit wary of taking it to the, to the air because of the 6 HS of, um, of Jacko. Gets hit by the 6 HS again, man. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, this is not 6 HS. I guess it's 3 HS? The one where she entires her? 6 HS is like the, um, the, um, I forgot how to, yeah, this is the 6 HS, and the, the other one where she throws, like, a freaking weight lateral, I don't know, I guess is the 3 HS? I'm not quite sure. That being said, here we go, with the corner pressure by RF. Now, Haruki, oh, gets killed by the bomb. Oh, this is so unfortunate. On chip damage, by the way. This was so unfortunate for him. That being said, here we go with uh, the second match of this, uh, the second round of this second match. Oh no, gets hit by the bomb. You hate to see it. And here we go with. Oh, RF gets hit. Oh lord, yeah. Little Faust wasn't here to protect you. This is unfortunate. And again with RF. Man, oh, gets juggled by the minions. This is very nice. Looking good for. 6 HS is the entire- okay, got it. 6 HS is the entire one, got it. And 2 HS is where she slams on the ground. Okay, and 5 HS is- okay, 5 HS is a traveling one, got it. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you, do not hesitate to knowledge check me, guys, because lots of moves that I think are that move are actually not that move, so... Thank you very much, uh, IDKFA, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to keep it in mind. And thank you for the follow, Canon Q7, and welcome to the Brodros. Okay, so 6 HS, entire one. 2HS is where she slams on the ground, okay? And 5HS is travel, okay. I'm gonna try to keep it in mind. Okay, here we go. 5HS is you spin me right round, baby. Got it, got it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. Keep it in mind. Okie dokie, and here back to the neutral. And Haruki trying to use the 6HS to enter. Okay, got the corner pressure, got the minion out. This is time to bring the heat. And here we go again with the... Yeah, you can see Haruki definitely looking for that burst. Wants RF to pop it, but RF being very, very respectful right there. Doesn't want to pop it unless he's absolutely certain he can hit Haruki with it. Haruki gets the minions right there and gets hit by the far S from RF. This is unfortunate for him. Tries to get as many minions as possible on. Oh, yeah, very nice juggle right there. He doesn't get the kill though. Oh, Lord, and RF goes for you, command grab, man. The cojones on this man. Okay, he's gonna go for... Uh, still didn't light it up. He, Haruki doesn't want to get lit up. There's one. Oh, did he? Oh, Lord, I almost got hit by the follow-up and gets the entire on the dive. Good stuff from Haruki. Finally puts one round on the board. Still not enough to, to win the match, though. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, very nice 6 HS entire right there from Haruki. Again with the 6 HS, man. Good stuff. He's making me, he's making me work on my, my move recognition. This is good. <laughs> Okie dokie, and back to the neutral, and Haruki making good use of the bombs that RF actually placed on the screen in order to keep the pressure up. Ah, very nice 6 HS, man. This is doing the freaking work, man. It's doing such a good work. Ah, tries to, uh, tries to bait RF into, uh, oh, 
what I need to go with the burst bait right there from Haruki punishes it accordingly and finally, finally, finally puts one on the board. It's actually one 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 round of piece? One match of piece? I thought Orif was up too. Did I I might have the, the score might not be uh correct by the way. If somebody can double check and tell me, uh, please do not hesitate to tell me. But I think it's two in favor of RF and one in favor of Haruki. But we'll see at the end of this match, I guess. If RF uh, wins it, very nice. Oh, jump out of the uh, command grab attempt right there from Haruki. Oh, he did get the minions. Oh, no, too far. Too bad, so sad. Gets the mix, 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 and the wall break. Good stuff from RF on the verge of taking this one. Things are looking pretty bleak for... Haruki not gonna lie. Yeah, you can see Haruki finish it. Oh, very nice 6p uh, right there. No, too quick on the throw attempt from Haruki. Unfortunately, didn't get the grab on the wake up and gets punished by RF for it. Here we go, the donuts. You love to see the donuts again with the 6p man counter hit. Good stuff from Haruki. This time around, gets the grab co accordingly. Manages to block the overhead. Unfortunately, Jumps right after the overhead attempt and gets hit by the mix 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 on block, which makes it plus uh, on on block. <laughs> Quite simply. And that being said, here we go. We continue with the YRC. How to key out of? Oh, trying to get out of the corner so desperately. Unfortunately, his wig is on fire, and I it might be the end. Yeah, yeah, the classic. Exactly. This is the classic. <laughs> Anybody who watched the Brojo Cup up, up until now know how many times these two dudes have fought against each other. But it's always a treat, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Second semi-finals match. It's gonna be Tagarin versus Kohide. Thanks for hosting, my brother. Thank you very much for participating, my dude. And uh, thank you very much, man. And hopefully we'll see you in uh, later iterations of the Brojo Cup as well. Please don't hesitate to participate if you want to. And here we go, and Tohide forces the burst from Takarin. Takarin not afraid of popping the snail, even though he was at punishing range from Kohide. He did have the, the, the bar in order to make it uh, safe. Ah, oh, that being said, here we go to Kohide. Immediate cancel into the Ventania in order to get as much damage as possible. He wants to close it out before Takarin has any chance, and Takarin gets it still. Use the blue RC in order to see what Gio, uh, Kohide was gonna do, but still gets hit by the K-Flip because Kickflip is freaking quick as hell, guys. Do not underestimate this hit. That being said, here we go with Kohide in the double um, spiral error right there to keep the pressure on this around Takarin on point on the punish of the uh, of the of the uh, the, the um, spiral error. And here we go. This is gonna be the kill. Kohide on a freaking steamroll. <laughs> Oh, you'll be back. That's good to hear, Pirate Game. And here we go with the first match going on to Kohide. Very, very, very uh, convincing performance from Kohide. Takai not. Eto, Kaen-san, El san yon no Shouhai Hokoku no Kakuni onegaishi. Ah, wakarimashita. Eto, so desu ne. Watashi ga Kakuni shi nakute mo, eto, Gobo fan no ni. Bakara sono shiai aite ni sore o Kakuni shite mo aere ba futsu ni Kakuni wa dekiru. Kano, ma, dekimasu kedo. Ma, ma, kedo. Watashi wa Kakuni shimasu. だけど次回からえっと対戦相手にえっと結果報告をお願いします。おえっと指定いただけますようお願いします。可能であればもしえっと配信外の試合であれば。だけど今回は確認しました。And <笑> uh, okay, we are good to go here. And uh, oh yes, and here we go with the wall pressure and Kohide already. Already with the kill that was quick as hell. Gets the first round of the second match extremely convincingly. Oh, goes for the... Oh, again with the freaking... Uh, you hate to see these, man. Oh, no, and Takarin gets opened by the freaking far HS. Oh, Lord, and Takarin trying to get out of the corner. Gets hit by the Nasante counter. This is going to do a lot of damage. Forces Takarin to pop the burst. Again, Kohide gets hit by the snail. Oh, Lord, and this is going to be kill. Yeah, good stuff from Kohide, man. Definitely not afraid. Gets the kill with uh, the Sepultura. Was it? I keep mixing up the the names of uh, of Giovanna's. Uh, uh, I'm gonna check it this time around. I need to remember exactly what what are the names of Giovanna's uh, Giovanna's uh, attacks. Uh, that was a Sepultura, I think. I'm correct. Let me check the And we have. So yeah, Sepultura. I get it correctly. Perfect. I'm happy. I got it correctly. So Sepulcher has this one. The Spiral Arrow is a Treval. Sol Nasante is the uh, Nasante. 
So point is the kickflip and Ventania is a Ventania. Okay, got it. Tempestade. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, and here we go with the wall break by Kohide gets the positive bonus. That being said, health-wise, both opponents are pretty much equal right now. That being said, Takarin did get the... Oh lord, he's got the uh, health lead and managed to get the kill thanks to it. Takarin not out of this yet. Here we go with the... Oh lord, and Takarin not afraid to press buttons in between the... Oh lot the pressure of Kohide. Ah, good. Very good with punish right there from Kohida again going for these resets using the uh, the what's it called the, uh, the spiral arrow. Oh lord! And uh, Kohida gonna get the Ventania. This is gonna do a lot of damage. This is gonna kill actually. Good lord, Kohida is so freaking on point right there, man. Takari definitely looking a little bit lost. Not the first time he looks this lost uh, by playing against Kohida. Not gonna lie. Okay, here we go with Kohida finds the opening with the. Uh, the Sol Puente. Okay, here we go with the Lensengeki. The Sickle Storm. Uh, okay, here we go with the Nasante. No one home though. And Takarin finally punishing this Travao attempt. Oh, he's gonna get the Snail. This is not gonna be enough to kill. Forces Kohide to pop the burst. And Kohide going for the extended combo. Okay, he wants to keep the bar. Probably gonna go for an aerial. Yeah, he's going for the aerial overdrive. I can, yeah, yeah, he's going for the aerial overdrive. <laughs> I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you. Kohide is gonna try to go for the aerial overdrive. Oh lord! Uh, or not? Good lord! Oh lord! This is bad for Takain. This is a base uh, burst safe setup. Yeah, this was death guaranteed right there. And just like this. We have seen this very strong Biken player earlier in this tournament. Extremely strong uh, Biken player. Uh, he was the one to do the absolute crazy kill combo at the absolute last round of the last match. That was actually sick. This is definitely going to the highlights, by the way. And uh, yeah, uh, just still out here already getting the Kabari start of the round. And Poka uh, trying to get his neutral game, if I might say it. Like, commentating uh, Happy Chaos matches is extremely, extremely hard, so if I talk less during this this match, I'm not being biased or anything, but if I talk less, please do not, please do not hold, this, hold it against me. It's just really hard to commentate uh, <laughs> Happy Chaos' match. That being said, here we go with the air ships. Yo, Lost Souls, how you doing? Welcome to the, to the stream, man. And uh, please, 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 please uh, give your, uh, what's it called? Give give your energy to Poka right now. Poka really needs all the help he can get to try to win this tournament. I'm doing extremely good, man. Extremely good. And I'm very glad that you're here together with Laprise. That being said, here we go with Poka and the entire wants to keep that pressure going. He's going to take Stella in the corner. He's gonna get that wall break. Here we go with the positive bonus from Poka. Okay, no one home on the Kabari. That being said, Poka. A little bit low on bullets that but he does have a lot of concentration that entire air though from poka he's probably gonna take it with the air shicks is he here we go air shicks kaboom and just like this poka takes the first match extremely convincingly get all my energy you're doing pretty good that's good to hear man and i'm glad you're here man damn i'm getting some i'm getting some personalities man today i'm really really happy i'm i'm so happy man but it's always a treat to have good players and good viewers also in this tournament. This could never happen without all of you guys. So anyways, that being said, back to the match. Let's see how Poka will make it. Is he going to get that burst? Nope. No burst right there from Stella. Uh, Poka a little bit low on bullets. Okay, and here we go with Stella. Definitely staying extremely patient. Doesn't want to overextend. Just content on blocking. Ah, and here we go. Unfortunately for Dilla, he hit the scapegoat, which made... Oh, no, that wake up Hiragi. <laughs> and that emergency VRC was pretty funny. Okay, here we go with Stella finally bringing the beat. Is he going to make it ah, a little bit too far? Goes for it. Hold on. Goes for the... Uh, that that schnapsy like, follow-up of the Kabari and gets the grab for it. Very nicely done by Stella. 
I'm okay, we're gonna go with the air tour in favor of Stella. He's gonna get. Oh no, 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 gets jumped on. Oh good lord, oh that cross. I, I, no one's ever gonna block this. No one. Here we go with Polka definitely pulling himself right there. Trying to go for the uh, cross up pressure. Oh, very nice with punish from Stella. Unfortunately, he gets jumped on. This is gonna be a wall breaking sequence, probably. Nope. There's not gonna be air shicks right here. Ah, and Polka goes for the quake dust for the kill. The wall splat and the kill. Incidentally, good stuff from Polka. Up one round. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, oh, man, Stella. Yeah, Stella gets the Kabari. He's gonna get the wall pressure. He's got. Oh, no, a little bit too close to, to Kabari right here. And Polka definitely on point when it comes to. Oh, to blocking this. Oh, and to punish it. And here we go with the juggle. Polka's gonna get the wall break. Oh, he is. Nah, he'd rather get the wall splat with it. And he's gonna get air shakes. The boom. Positive bonus. Hard knockdown. What is gonna be the mix? Okay, this is gonna be far pressure. Okay, Polka just wants to eat at the tension bar of Stella. No! We still are just binding his time and get. Oh, he wanted that burst so bad! He wanted that burst so bad! But unfortunately, man, Polka would not give it to him. Polka refused. He said, No, I'm not giving you my burst, and rightfully so, by the way. If Polka had given him his burst, this, this probably would have been death, I guess? Because, yeah, Polka. Yeah. As much as you want to complain about Happy Gals, Happy Gals just explodes once he gets like, uh, it, it, like he takes a lot of damage, you know. So that would have been like a death sequence, especially with a character who has such a high damage output as Viking. But that being said, here we go with the jump in from Stella. Didn't want to commit to any jump in buttons, knowing that Scapegoat was waiting for him on his way down. No entire red there. Oh lord, and that conversion! That conversion was crazy. Oh lord. Still, I know he didn't get the jungle. That would have been crazy, but it's still okay. He gets the grab. This is not enough to kill. Thank you very much for the follow, Helicoid, and welcome to the Brothers. And Polka with the jungle gets the kill. And just like this, we're on set point for Polka. Is he gonna be able to take it, or is Stella gonna make a magic comeback? That would be crazy. He goes for the grab, but Polka on point just backdashes out of it and punishes accordingly. That being said, still not getting the uh, the Kabari pressure. No, too far to get the grab. You hate to see it, and he wakes up with a Hiragi. You hate to see it. Oh, Lord. You hate to see, to hear that sound, you know, from the Hiragi. Shling! This is the worst feeling ever when you're on the receiving end of the Hiragi. Shling! <laughs> I absolutely hate this sound. But that being said, it's probably the best sound ever for Viking players. And, ah, uh, Poka, a little bit shy to actually take it. <gasps> and still just waiting, man. He was just biting his side for the gold bridge. Well, unfortunately, gonna get hit. And just like this, Polka seals it, takes it a clean 3 to 0 against Tuzula Ramlethal versus Nidasil. Okay, here we go, Biking versus Ramlethal, the battle of the gorilla. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm capping, it's not, they're not gorillas, not at all. Again, here we go, already Nidasil with the jumping forces, it's about to pop the burst, and again with the jumping, he's gonna get the conversion. Uh, the follow-up, sorry, not conversion, and, ah, oh, that tick pressure is really, really strong, so that tries to get out using the overhead. The first one gets hit by Nidison. Nidison will definitely be able to seal the deal. Uses the overdrive for overkill, just in case. Gets the kill. Forces Tsuzura to watch the animation <laughs> of his inevitable death, like Krauser would say in Resident Evil 4. And here we go with the cross-up. Uh, Yozansen from Nidus gets the 6k counter hit. Couldn't quite get the juggle because too far. Suzera in a good position. Gets the wall pressure and the uh, air combo juggle. That being said, Nidus finds his way out using uh, the Hiragi. Not the Hiragi, the um, Yozansen, I'm sorry. And Nidus used, tried to use the quick. There was one in my lord, is that just popping the the freaking overdrive just like this, man. Gets the momentum a little bit back and no too far to get the wall breach, uh, the wall uh, bounce, but still okay. Get, manages to get the kill and gets one round. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. One round apiece. No entire. Wait, yes, entire. I, I lied, I capped. And here we go, the wall pressure. Tsuzuna finds the opening, goes immediately for the. Overdrive for the kill, not the kill for the uh, for the positive bonus and the hard knockdown. Is this gonna be? Yeah, this is gonna be definitely enough. And here we go with the cover dose for the kill. This is this is definitely gonna kill. <laughs> yeah, 
This is definitely gonna kill. Good stuff from Tsuzumak gets the first round, or the first match, quite convincingly, not going to lie. Okay, and on to the next round, the next match, and Tsuzumak gets the jump in, unfortunately. And the Bari Nidus manages to find his way a little bit out of it, and unfortunately gets brought back to it right away. No entire red there on the aerial approach from Nidus. It gets uh, jumping as very nice cross ups right there from Nidus using that tech. Oh lord, that was a fake cross up. Oh, oh no, and you got it. You had to see it in. <gasps> Nidus is using the wake up heat again. It uses the RC to make it safe. Good stuff. Recognizes that Tsuzura jumped over him and air grabs him in. Consequence, you're going to jump in by Tsuzura. No, again with the 6P. Definitely on point this time around. Ah, hits and punishes the uh, Kabari attempt from Nidus. This is going to do a lot of damage, by the way. And Tsuzura going for the overdrive. Oh, Lord, that Hiyagi. <laughs> Luckily for Tsuzura, it was too far away to get uh, to trigger the animation, the Hiragi animation from Nidus. That means here we go. Nidus definitely going full ham. Gets the cross up, the true 50 50 from Biken. Oh, goes for the cross up. Oh, no! And Tsuzura popping the burst, unfortunately. Ah, Tsuzura doesn't have anything left to save him and dies in the process. One match apiece. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Very nicely done by Nidus. Definitely proving that he's no slouch himself. Definitely doesn't want to go down without a fight. We go the Kabari. Oh, Tsuzura, no entire right there. But uh, Nidus manages to get the jump in. Oh, Lord, in the extension combo from Nidus. Uh, goes for the Yozan Sen. Is he gonna extend? Is that gonna be? Ah, uh, not enough, unfortunately, for Nidus. Uh, he does get the wall break, though. Ah, uh, goes for the 6P, but no one, 6K, but nobody was home. So that's gonna get some pretty nice damage right there. Gets the juggle. That was crazy good. Okay. Decides. Uh, well, she didn't have any <laughs> anything to decide because he didn't have bar, and that was an unfortunate error. Uh, entire attempt, air to air attempt from uh, Nidus, but does get, uh, does catch uh, Tsuzura trying to uh, jump out of pressure and get scooped by the 2HS from Baiken. Go the aerial approach from Nidus again, man. Good lord. No, oh, no entire. Oh lord, here we go. The closest counter hit, man. And Tsuzura gets the grab, punishes the Hiragi. Okay, here we go. Oh lord, gets that ladder pressure combo on Nidus to force him back in the corner. Oh lord, no entire red there. No. And here we go with the corner pressure from Nidus. Uh, from not Nidus, from Tsuzura. Okay, Tsuzura got Kibari. He couldn't get the court. The, oh, he couldn't quite get the juggle. Very nice blocks right there from Nidus. Blocks the overhead. A damn, gets 6 speed though in the process. This is not gonna be enough to kill. And you can see Tsuzura just running straight after Nidus. Uh, understanding that Nidus was trying to get out of the pressure by backdashing. Good stuff from Tsuzura, good call out. Okay, here we go, the Kabari, no punish right there, a little bit too late on it. He's gonna get the corner juggle though with a lot of damage. Here we go, 50% out of there. Get out of there, who needs the help? <laughs> and Tsuzura, oh lord, popping the Superman. You hear to see it, gets jumped on though. And Nidus is gonna be in prime position to bring the heat. Tries to, uh, tries to bait the YRC right there from Tsuzura. Oh, and Tsuzura gets out of there and unfortunately gonna get hit by the, yeah, the overdrive from Nidus. It's not over. Oh! oh, I thought that you could have a follow, but no, you can't. Oh, no, Nidus, shoot! Get back here! <laughs> Nidus, man, this dude, good stuff, man, manages to bring it back. Two to one, what is Tsuzura gonna do, yo? Good stuff from both players, though, really, really. That was a very, um... A very cheeky, very cheeky attempt from Nidus using the uh, gold burst to get back all of his tension bar and using all of his resource to seal the deal. Is Zuda gonna get the knockdown? Oh lord! And he's gonna get the jungle into the overdrive 40, heavy knockdown into a positive bonus. Oh, we had a bit of a downtime right there. Oh, and Hiragi got scooped, you hate to see it. Zuda bring it back pretty quickly. Definitely didn't appreciate that that golden burst uh, sequence that happened just before. Very nice use of the 2HS right there. Nidus calls out the backdash attempt from Tsuzura. And Nidus goes for the L5050, oh, unfortunately. Uh, that forces Tsuzura to trigger the gold burst in order to secure two bars of tension. 
Let's see what I get. Oh, no, he gets combined to 6 HS right there from... Oh, this is what I might know. Nice. Two with the freaking calendar overdrive and... Oh, he's gonna get the kill! We are on set point. Is Nice is gonna seal it here or not? We shall see. Thank you very much for the follow, Le Prince de Vite, and welcome to the road. Okay, here we go back in the neutral. Hello, La Prise was streaming this early. Okay, okay, that's cool too. That's good to hear. Uh, yeah, he raided me, so it's perfectly fine. No worries. Um, I'm not like, I don't, it's not really a problem to restream me anyway, so I actually feel uh, quite honored. <laughs> that being said, here we go with uh, the juggles from Suzura. Couldn't quite get anything more out of it. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Suzura trying to get. Yeah, Nidus in the corner. Nidus doesn't want to go into a corner, obviously. That being said, here we go with Devolvery. Good stuff from Tsuzura. Oh, Lord, and that run up 6P, man. And unfortunately for Nidus, he's going to get scooped by the wall throw. Not the wall throw, the sword throw from Tsuzura. Probably Nidus to pop the Hiragi, but unfortunately, yeah, Hiragi doesn't work against Project Town. That's the reason why he got hit by the sword break. Okay, and here we go with Suzura already with... Oh, Lord! With the pressure, wants to get Naidesa in the corner. Thing that he almost accomplished right there. He uses the... Oh, Lord! He uses his own burst to keep Naidesa in the corner. And uses the 6P counter hit uh, entire in order to get a corner combo. But that being said, here we go with Naidesa back on full onslaught. And the blocks from Suzura, man. And just popping the freaking overdrive of the kill. Why there? Yep, you just need to type uh, exclamation point bracket and you'll get the link. It's gonna be uh, the first uh, uh, tournament, uh, the, the ongoing tournament that's uh, that, that's gonna be on the page that you that you uh, that you. Uh, uh, let me type it for you. Bracket. There you go. Oh, and the Hiragi, man. Good lord, Nidus. Oh, gets jumped on, unfortunately. And oh, Nidus is might get killed. You're welcome, Le Prince de Beat. No one show, man. Here we go with the 6P for the kill. Good lord. And just like this, Suzura. Prove himself. And you will be seeing it right here, right now. Takarin versus Poka. Takarin, best Axel in Japan currently versus Poka. Uh, unfortunately, not the best Happy Chaos. I do believe that Yui Yui, who is also known as NO. And probably you guys in the West know him as well. He's uh, the uh, Japanese pro player who um, basically complained about the nerfs of Happy Gals and who basically said that in the West there aren't you know uh, the, the West are crying about Happy Gals and uh, and uh, they, they don't they, and that art system uh, they art system allocates too much attention to the West regarding like character uh, character uh, balance and that's the reason why Happy Gals got nerfed and that he's angry about it and yeah that he started this whole controversy and but actually, even though he did start this controversy, he is a very capable Happy Chaos player. If you check uh, rated update right now, he is probably like the number, the third or fourth player uh, ranked in a rating update. So extremely strong Happy Chaos player. And I do believe he's still stronger, a little bit stronger than Poka. But Poka is definitely not to be trifled with. As you can see right now, he's actually bringing the heat to Takarin. Let's see if he can continue to do so. I feel like they cater to Japan much more than West. Uh, I do, I do believe so as well because uh, if they only based their their balance uh, opinions uh, based on like uh, on Western uh, feelings, on, well, not feelings, but Western uh, you know results, uh, tournament results, and and overall like discussion, I feel like Leo would have been nerfed to the ground. <laughs> like Leo would would definitely he, he would have been nerfed so badly. But it's not the case. So I, I feel like yeah, they definitely um, they definitely. Cater to Western, um, to Western like opinions, oh, probably more than to uh, to to the, uh, the they cater to Japan opinion more than than vice versa. That being said, here we go with Poka taking the first match. By the way, very very convincingly. Let's see how this spins out. And Takarin already, man, down half life. That was very very quick. And here we go with the entire from Poka gets the. Knockdown. And here we go with the concentration station. And Takami actually pressing button after this. Oh! Overdrive in your face! Takami saying, I have had it. I do not want to deal with your pressure anymore. 
Oh, but unfortunately for you, Polka has full tension bar. What are you gonna do? Good blocks from Takani. What the hell? What the hell was this block? If they followed Western opinion, uh, Happy Girls would be without a gun by now. Yeah, probably. Yeah, most certainly. Most certainly. And here we go with the uh, the two P right there from Takani. Gets Polka in the corner. Apoka tried to get the hit, but yeah, unfortunately nobody was home. Takani checking Poka. Noticing that Poka dashes one too many times in his direction and just takes this opportunity to 2k 2d him. And he said, here we go with Takani looking pretty good right now, but you only need one hit. That's really what you need. Oh, very nice back dash and gets hit by the snail. Here we go with Takani with the air to wear for the kill. And just like this, Takani bring it back, man. One match piece. Who is going to take it? Yeah, Takani is definitely no slouch, best Axel player in, the, in Japan, so it's already very impressive that Poka managed to take one match off of it. It's not over, by the way. So let's see if uh, Poka can actually seal the deal, we shall see. Ah, very nice stuff right there. I wonder if they will patch HC bug before you go. I really hope they do, but it feels like, um, it seems like uh, most most H uh, Happy Cows players don't actually use this bug. So I, I don't know if they, they'll really, you know, work on patching it until actual players like put the work and uh, find ways to use it like consistently and regularly but until this happens I don't know whether like I don't think that uh, our system is going to uh, you know is going to really focus on it that much thank you very much for the uh, raid James Sock and uh, much appreciated man again here we go with the uh, yo lady scrab yeah this is raid time thank you very much for the raid much appreciated and just like this polka takes it with the 2k 2d takes the first round that is from the second match let's see if he can continue in this oh in this fashion we shall say oh that close s counter it just did a lot of damage couldn't quite get the juggle with the oh lord you hate to see it and here we go with polka and the corner pressure nope yeah takarin jumped over the curse so made it so that he could uh well, he could have more freedom, uh, more, more liberty to like move left and right. That being said, here we go. Uh huh, ready. Yep, that is good to hear. Thank you very much, James. Really much appreciated. And here we go. The close pressure from Poka. He does have a life deficit, pretty hefty one, by the way. That being said, here we go with Takani. Oh, Lord, no entire red there. Blee, blee. Hope this cup goes well. It goes pretty well, yeah. The, the problem with the tunnel that happened like last week has been solved in between, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked. It's, it's it's perfect right now. Everything's doing very well. We did have like one connection error, but I mean, it's okay. One connection error is definitely like, I can live with it. <laughs> dope, dope indeed. Okay, here we go with Poka trying to keep that pressure. Go straight in front of Axel. Wants to keep the corner pressure. Wow, that two has counter hit. And again with the counter hit, man. He's gonna get air six. Here we go, air six, no air six. No tension, no. Tension, where are you? Oh lord, here we go, the uh, jump in by Takarin. Ah, you can see Poka, he wants that, he wants that curse. Poka wants that curse, man. Oh, and unfortunately gets command grab, just like, oh, no, he couldn't quite get the juggle, but he gets hit by the two HS. Nevertheless, good stuff from Takarin up two to one. What is Poka gonna do? What is Poka gonna do? Poka does have a pocket uh, chip, I think, does he? He might have a pocket chip, I, I don't, yeah, he has a pocket chip, actually. Again, here we go with the 6P counter. This did a ton of damage. And Poka gonna get the wall break. Kaboom! Oh no! Wow! That was so sick! That was so cheeky! That was so cheeky, man! Using the wall, um, you know, using the momentum that Takarin had by getting unsplatted from the wall to get across under and hit Takarin the other way around. That was sick, man. That was crazy sick. You can see, yeah, Poka definitely suffering from the fact that, yeah, Takarin doesn't get hit by the, the curse. Ah, finally got the curse, but unfortunately got it. Oh, he's gonna get Oh, no, too far. Oh, Lord, and that freaking juggle. And Takarin, yeah, Poka, Takarin definitely looking good right there. He did get the curse, though. Ah, you dashed one too many times, and this should be death. Oh, no, you hate to see it. Ah, uh, this is gonna be death. Good stuff from Takarin. That nice recognition right there. Good lord. Okay, okay, and here we go with the. Oh lord, that rainwater that pushed Ta uh, Poka in uh, the juggle range of Takarin and just like this. Look at this with the 
Snail. Oh no, he even got the burst bait. You hate to see it. Pokemon Dire Straight gets in by the Rainwater, and this should do with the actual Bomber. Good stuff from Takain. Actually eliminates Polkakun from the... Oh, so after this one, we will be in the losers. Uh, we actually will be in the winner's final, actually. So let's uh, go for this uh, last... One of the last losers uh, bracket match. We shall see how this... Before the semifinals, that is. And on with Haruki already trying to put some minions on the board. But that being said, Suzura making a good job of using both his burst and also his long range attack to uh, kill any minions that's on that on the on the on the on the ground. Here we go with the corner pressure from Suzura. Oh, catches Haruki out of the air with the sword throw. He's gonna get the Calvados. Look at the damage. Boom! Get out of here. What will be the mix? We shall see. Mix, mix, mix. The normal jump in, probably save jump. Oh, YRC for the save. And again, Suzura. Well, this time around, Suzura using the YRC to keep the pressure and get back the moment. He might be able to seal it. No! Oh, Lord! And that jump it. That was uh, that, that was probably an input error from Haruki. Probably meant to tick right there and not like use the uh, the, the dust. Being said, we go the jump in by Suzura. Here we go with the corner pressure, here we go with the 6p. Resets the pressure using the overhead, which is plus unblock. Oh lord, finally Haruki forced to pop the burst, uses the guard point to negate the sword throw hit. Here we go with the cross up, but to the head, bar to use the wire seat. Good lord, here we go with the 2k2d from Haruki, gets a meaty, meaty assess right there, did a ton of damage by the way. Gets the grab. Looks for the cross up and uh, forces the burst on Suzura. And catches the back dash with the two. Good stuff from Haruki. Put one round on the board as well. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, very nice entire right there from Haruki. Forces Suzura ever so slightly in the corner. That being said, Suzura fights for his life. Gives the sword throw back to the neutral. That being said, Yoki is in favor of Haruki. Goes for the grab but gets ticked right there. Gonna get the juggle thanks to the six. Uh, the two, uh, which one is it? The five HS <laughs> counter hit. Okay, I'm sorry to remember it. <laughs> oh lord, here we go! Oh no, and the pressure. He could have got the kill right there if he used the uh, Elysium Driver, but it's still okay. It still gets the six P. Uh, follow up from the BRC right there, and Haruki takes the lead with one to zero. Gets the first match, first blood. Here we go with the start of the second round already. Haruki Force. Suzura to pop the burst. Suzura in their sword right there. As oh, finally gets the sword throw right there. Oh, almost got scooped by the 2D. That would have been really, really not good. And here we go with Haruki going to get the corner pressure. My entire on the uh on the overhead right there. Ah, fine again to the with URC. This is definitely not gonna play in his favor later on, I feel. Ah, here we go to 6P. How to get out of the corner. Goes for a quick dust. Cancel into the Roman Castle to get the kill, but Suzuki on point with his guard. Forces out to pop the burst. Yeah, you can see Haruki definitely wanting that scale and gives the kill with the standing key. Good stuff by Haruki. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, and here we go, the sword throw to get rid of any pesky minions on the uh, on on the stage. Here we go, the overhead for the pressure reset. Ah, goes for the low for the opening, gets the overdrive. And they get the hard knockdown, positive bonus, goes for a regular jump. Probably wanted to bait something, not quite sure, but that being said, I probably messed up his, uh, his, uh, his instant air dash. That being said, here we go with the... The air juggle and the perfect for the statement right there, Suzuki. I'm not going down without a fight. Go to 6P. Oh, Lord, and Suzuki forced to pop the burst. Oh, look, it's the second hit of the wreck coming. And Haruki with the standing HS, man. That was crazy. Oh, Lord, and the 6P to punish the 6 HS attempt right there from Haruki. And this third hit of the wreck yet again hits his mark. Gonna get a juggle right there, right after the sword throw. This is gonna do a lot of damage. What's gonna be the follow up? It is the overdrive. Order to secure the jump, uh, to secure the hard knock down in the air to air yet again in favor of Suzura. Catches Haruki jumping one too many times, and Suzura puts one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gents.
and everybody in between. Here we go on to the third match. Very nice XP right there. Entire from. So we got a little bit too far to get the 6HS to connect. <laughs> Look, here you go with the jabs, the checks right there from Suzuda. And Haruki wakes up with the golden burst. Very nicely done. And oh, Lloyd Suzuda just rushing straight, man. Not afraid of anything. Goes for the freaking overhead. No, no, the overdrive for the perfect. And Suzuda just like this, man. Takes the lead. He was down 1 to 0, but now he is actually in the lead. Round wise, that is. And we are in. Limbo. Oh, good lord. Here we go to standing HS counter hit. Gets the juggle. Would rather put the minion on the uh, on the floor in order to keep the pressure. Gets the low to the end. Goes for the MT low and this should be the kill. Haruki also not going down without a kill and a fight. Here we go. One round apiece. One match apiece. Perfect equality. Oh, and here we go. The freaking sword throw, man. The 6 feet have been working so good for Haruki. Not going to lie. Five inches pressure. Ah, gets it by the soccer, man. This is unfortunate. Soccer, soccer, you cannot press. Oh, good lord. And look, all these counter hits, man. Suzuda, you're pressing too many buttons. And just like this, Suzuda's gonna get Elysian Driver. Ah, it's not gonna kill. Good stuff from Haruki. He's gonna get the Okizame. Oh, lord. But gets hit by the jumping S from Suzura. YRC for the save. Ah, probably wanted the YRC of Suzura as well. That was, that was well played, and Lord, the jump in right there from Suzura gets the overdrive in consequence. Good Lord. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Sword throw again. Gets the grab. Is, is it going to kill? Is it going to kill? No, too far. And forces out of the the burst and gets the freaking <laughs> the grab. That freaking sword throw was genius. That freaking Sogeki right there from Suzura. That snipe moment from Suzura was god genius. That was good stuff from uh, Tsudara. Okay, here we go. Tsudara officially takes the lead. 2 to zero, 1. Sorry. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go. The low 2k 2d. Forces uh, Haruki to pop the burst. Again with the 6p, man. It's been working much in favor of Haruki. That the, the use of the 6p have been pristine from Haruki. He's been like on point, like <laughs> 10, 10 on 10, man. And that being said, here we go. The juggle from Haruki and gets overdriven. But yet again, Tsudara not afraid to pop the burst. No, to pop the overdrive, man. I feel like Haruki is going to pop the overdrive also eventually, but yeah, Haruki resorting to using the YRC rather than a wake up overdrive, which is understandable. It's understandable, not going to lie. Again, here we go, the juggle and pushes his right in the corner. Oh no! That was definitely a YRC attempt, but I don't know if it was definitely not intentional, but Suzuki, like, for some reason, delaying his, uh, his uh, Roman cancel attempt right there and gets a blue RC instead of a YRC and Poor Haruki was looking for the YRC, unfortunately was in block mindset and gets uh, grabbed by Tsuzura and dies in the process. Just like this, we're on set point by the way. For, uh, no, we're not on set point. Yeah, Haruki needs this one if he wants to... Oh, we are on set point, I'm sorry, yes we are. So yeah, uh, Haruki needs this one if he wants to stay alive. This is looking pretty bad. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard knockdown. Ah, yeah, you could see Tsuzura looking for the YRC right there. Oh, no entire. No, oh, gets scooped by the 2D hit to see it. He goes for the quick uh, Roman. Uh, he goes for the quick dust into Roman cancel for the juggle and the kill. Still set point. Let's see if uh, Tsuzura can seal the deal or how he can live to fight another day again with the sword throw, man. It's been, look, it's been working so good for Tsuzura, man. Okay, here we go. That multiple overhead right there from Tsuzura resets the pressure. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. Haruki finally forced to pop the burst. Okay, gets the knockdown. It's the beginning of the end. Is it? Oh, Lord, and that overhead. The overdrive, I'm sorry. This time around, Haruki on point when it came to not getting hit by it. <laughs> this is by self is in. Oh, oh, Lord. Yeah, look at look at the drive. Oh, Lord, you got open. Oh, you got open. Oh, but it's not enough to kill. Tuzura, what is he gonna do? Tuzura needs this one. Oh, no. We need to see Okay, good stuff. Gets out of the corner. For sure. Gets hit by 6P and the Ram Slam to catch the back dash attempt. This is gonna kill. Yes, it is. And just like this, Tuzura seals the deal. 3, 2, 1 for RF and 13,000 for Kohida. It's a sick, a sick amount of level, man. It's so crazy. Okay, that being said, here we go on to the winner's final RF versus Kohida. Let's see how this pans out. And uh, bonsoir, Trashback. Here we go with D. Command grab from 
RF already with Kohide with the wig right there. Not the wig, the uh, afro. Oh, he catches him with the far S right there. He gets the mix, mix, mix. Forces Kohide to pop the burst. And that was big right there. And the air to air right there in favor of RF does have the, the uh, meter to mix his mix, mix, mix uh, safe. And gets the kill with a simple standing jab. Good stuff from RF takes the first round. What is Koide going to do? Good lord, ah, Koide gets hit by the head bomb right there. Here goes the regular bomb. Combat, oh lord, and that freaking juggle did a hell of a lot of damage, man. Little Faust for the for the for the win, not the win for the the save. Let me set Rigo de Koide goes for the cross. That was really gonna go for the kick flip. Yep, very nice block by RF. Ah, I guess it by the standing S counter hit. This is unfortunate. And yeah, Koide looking looking for the opening. Gets the opening. Gonna get the wall break and the wall splat. Oh, the wall splat and the wall break. Oh, he went for an Asante. Unfortunately, RF didn't head in the air. And RF using the uh, side switch of the what's it called of the uh, the scarecrow in order to switch position and forcing Koide to get hit by the meteors. Good stuff from RF gets the first match. How is this going to go? We shall see. That was sick, man. Oh, here we go to 2D. Nobody home. Boris. And Kohide, yeah, running into these uh, wall of standing jabs of RF, man. Ah, finally. Ah, Kohide. Hi. Ah. RF using the overhead right there to force the bomb a little bit farther from him. So he has some leeway to try to get Kohide off of his back a little bit too far to get the uh, extension, uh, to get the follow up 2D from the 2K, unfortunately. And here we go with the, Nassan the uh, Vantania. Lots of damage right there. Oh, good lord, and just like this, Koide is gonna take this round. Good stuff. Okay, okay, and on to the next battle. This dude, Arf, matched that. Yeah, he definitely matched it, man. <laughs> okay, and here we go with the dive. Very nicely done by RF. Tried to get the hit with the 2S. Unfortunately, nobody was home. Oh, lord, gets open right there by Koide. He's gonna get the drill in the wall break. With the Troval. Oh, and here we go. Mix, mix, mix to catch the back dash attempt. Uses the overhead for the OTG. And here we go. The entire are going to get the juggle with the Scarecrow. Little Faust for the save. And just like this, RF takes the second round as well. Very convincingly. So let's see how this spins out. Okay, third match of this. Uh, third round of this second match. Oh, RF already forced to pop the burst and he gets the air to air. Oh, he gets, he lands the, uh, the dive, forces Koide to pop the burst. Koide definitely wanted that gold burst, not the blue one. But that being said, this is unfortunate for him. RF, yeah, RF, a little bit afraid to press buttons right there, but who isn't when you're facing Giovanna and you're in the corner? Okay, here we go. At least it's not hard knockdown. Very nice back dash from RF. He's gonna get some pressure. He's, oh no! Oh, good lord. Oh, here goes the kick flip. And RF popping the wire seat. Goes for the... Oh, for the spear. And he's got the dive. Ah, oh, lord. In time to get his guard back before getting hit by the aerial overdrive from Kohide. And things are looking pretty good for RF, not gonna lie. And here he goes. Gets the kill with the 4S. Good stuff from RF. Up to the zero, man. Holy freaking lord. RF won a tournament like yesterday, literally yesterday as well. He's definitely on fire these days. Okay, here we go with the tick throw from Kohide. Finally getting something going on. And again with the empty throw from Kohide. I guess hit by the dive counter hit from RF. It was going to go for it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> with the scarecrow. Who wouldn't? Again with the dive. No, no, uh, no bar in order to make it safe though. And Koide takes this opportunity to bring the heat to RF, brings him in the corner, gets the closest, and this is gonna do. Ventania for the kill. Good stuff from Koide. Is that special, not plus anymore? Uh, you're talking about the, uh, the, the mix, mix, mix? Uh, I... If you can tell me which special, special it is, I can, I can tell you. And here we go with the double freaking syringe. 
at G360. Are ah, you talking about the Puente? Puente is not it is not su is not plus anymore. <clears throat> ah, the air super. Uh, this I don't know actually. I think it is though. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me check real quick. I actually have Giovanna right here under my nose, so it's perfect. Uh, it is. I can. It can vary from zero to plus six. But I think like, I think that uh, I think that uh, Gio Giovanna. I think that Kohide did it right, right atop from from RF. So basically, he was zero on 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 on, on block. But if he does it a little bit like, a little bit on the left or a little bit on the right, and it hits like the hitbox, the 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 hurt box of um, uh, of the opponent. Then it's plus unblock, but if you do it like directly over your opponent, then it's zero. So they're both opponent, everybody is like zero on plus. Zero on block, I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay, and here we go with the wall break from Kohide. He's on the verge of taking it. Uh, the air super, he got mashed out uh, of it twice. Yeah, I think that he thought that uh, Arp was gonna respect it, but he was, uh, he was probably zero on block. Uh, but I think maybe he was counting on Arp respecting it or not knowing. That it's actually zero and not like plus. Well, it, it is plus depending on your spacing, but I, I can't. I, I need to re rewatch the replays to check whether or not it was uh, plus or not that particular uh, time. Anyways, that being said, yeah, Faust is pretty freaking tall. So yeah, his hurt box like hits very very high, so it might have triggered like uh, the uh, the hit a little bit early than expected, and that's why he was able to punish it, and other characters can't. I, I can't really say. Let me set. Here we go to RF on set point. He's about to send Kohide in the losers brackets. Three to nail, man. That would be crazy. Good lord. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, you can see that freaking. Yeah, RF is cooking, man. Mix, mix, mix. Ah, that being said, got hit by the commentator scares. Got hit by the uh, Nasante counter at this. And you hate to see it. Look at the damage, man. One hit. Half your bar is gone. Oh, and gets it. This is death right here. Yeah. Good stuff from Kohide and nice conversion station gonna get the kill. And here we go on to again set point for RF. Let's see if Kohide can bring it back. Wow man. Oh lord, Kohide not wanting to let RF backdash at all. Mix, 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 here we go. Let me cook ya. Here we go with RF getting the pressure. Good. Yeah, getting a lot of mileage right there. Uh, goes for the mix 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 and the empty low he's gonna get oh he's gonna get yeah the wall break good stuff from rf Koi on his last legs he needs to make something happen ah yeah oh, okay still too far to get punished from his mix 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 and this is going to do with the overhead for the otg good stuff from rf six it a clean win three one yeah it wasn't three zero my bad but it, it was it was a uh, three it's over already uh i'm just gonna update and put it three one now no, you're right, you're right, it was Oh, there it is. Okie dokie, Brad and Cookie, sorry for the, uh, for the downtime. Okay, we're good to go, and here we go with Tsuzura with the pressure. Almost got grabbed right there from Takani, but that's the last possible moment. Just backed, just backed away off a little bit. Uh, Ford, uh, caused Takarin to pop the tech and then punish him accordingly. That was genius from Tsuda. Get the first round. Extremely convincingly gets hit by the close slap though by of, of Takarin. Takarin maneuvering like underneath Tsuda. Ah, gets hit though. Ah, no, too far to get hit by the follow up of the Sickle Storm. And here we go with the tick pressure from Tsuda. Goes for the reset using your head. Ah, no entire red there from Tsuda. Ah, here we go, the sword throw, oh lord, the explosion, follow up, oh no, you hate to see it, unfortunately, Tsuzura kind of uh, cornered himself, this is unfortunate, and here we go with Takorin using the RC to get the extension station of the combo, couldn't quite finish it for the kill, but still manages to get it. Good stuff from Tsuzu from uh, Takorin, let's see how this pans out. Ah, oh, lord. Oh, here we go, the 2k 2d from Tsuzura gets the corner carry. Goes for the reset with the overhead again. And Takarin just content to just, ah, uh, yeah, to just block. That being said, he got open right there. No entire air. Oh, Lord, very nice jump out right there from Takarin. Gets hit by the uh, closest. Uh, and this is going to go. Oh, no, actually not. 
Okay, here we go with... Ah, the 4S for the kill by Tsuzura actually manages to take the first. Man, very, very convincing man. Yeah? Good stuff. Okay, let me check real quick. And on to the next match. Immediately, Takarin just dashes for his open and runs into a 2K2D. Unfortunate for him. And here we go, the counter hit. And Takarin uh, feels to get the juggle though, but it's still okay. He's got the corner, uh, the corner position. Ah, the tick pressure is real. Oh no, he tries to go for the juggle using the command grab, unfortunately. It couldn't connect. And here we go with the kill. Good stuff by Takarin, definitely not out of it by any means. Yo, Shihuasan, welcome back, how you doing? Okay, and here we go with... Ah, the 2K2D, ah! Suzura getting the juggle, man, this is gonna do a lot, well, it's gonna do decent damage. I'm not, I'm not gonna say a lot of damage, because Ram Lethal can definitely fish out way more than that. But, yeah, that was decent damage, I guess. Here we go, the jump in, safe, uh, jump. Oh, Lord gets hit by the sail. Very nice jump out from Suzura, no entire. Ah, 2k2d again. Ah, it goes for the air to air, gets the... Wow, the follow-up. Ah, kind of mm, used his RC, but for no good reasons. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't quite get anything out of it. Uh, quite get anything out. Oh, Lord. I think he... Yeah, he guarded. But it's still okay. Takarin does... Oh, Lord. Oh, no. You hate to see it. Oh, Lord. You hate to see it. And just like this, this is not up. 2 to 1, man. Well, they're up uh, one match in one round, man. That's crazy. That was pretty smart. Okay, here we go. Oh, the sickle storm trying to push to the in the corner. Goes for the overhead. Again with the overhead reset. Which is plus on block, of course. And here we go with. Takain manages to find his way out of the corner. Did get clipped by the Rekalo. Gonna have to pay the price, which is half of your life. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Good stuff from Suzura and the run-up grab. They both had the same idea, but unfortunately Takani had the better reflexes right there. Okay, and here we go with the corner pressure, but Takani fighting for his way out of the corner and he should get the kill. Yeah, this is... Oh no! Oh no! You hit to see it and here we go with the quick overhead. Ah, uh, uh, this is death actually. Yeah, this is death. No, you hate to see it. Oh, good lord. And we're glad to have you, Shiho-san. Thank you very much for coming by. Oh, that was so crazy, man. Good stuff from Suzura. Up 2 to 0, man. Holy freaking lord. What is it? What is gonna happen here? Oh, lord. Oh. Nice burst, Suzura. <laughs> uh, good stuff from Takain. Uh, like, pretended to go for an empty low and actually used the back dash, the back aerial dash to go for a delayed overhead. And thanks to this, got the opening and the kill in the end with a perfect man. You can feel that Takarin is definitely not happy of how this uh, match is currently unfolding. Thank you very much for the follow up, Oshi, and welcome to the Bro Joes. You go the far P to entire Chizura out of the air. Well, obviously, if you're entire. That being said, we go with the standing P, P man to just check Chizura and his running, uh, his running habit. And being said, here we go, man, that 2P into the snail. That was really sick conversion right there. He uh, did get a uh, nice knockdown. Ah, air to air in favor of Suzura is gonna get the a pretty nice amount of damage right there. Using the Calvados. What is gonna be the mix? What is gonna be the Okizame? We go to oh no, he went with the empty grab. If Takain doesn't burst, he says bye bye right there. Yeah, okay, bye bye too. Uh, this round that is. That being said, we are on set point. Takarin absolutely needs this round if he wants to stay alive. Let's see how this pans out. No entire right there. This is unfortunate. Ah, tiger. Oh. How are you doing, bro? Welcome. And here we go with the sickle storm. Damn, we have tiger pop and we actually have lost souls as well. This is crazy, man. This is the. This is gonna be the hangout of the the happy gals players, man. <laughs> okay, here we go. With the wall break. Oh lord, and the 4S, man, and just last is that fails to get the conversion, though, he still has the pressure. Goes for the wall, oh, goes for the sword throw, and this should do good stuff, man. Yeah, Lasso was here like a couple of uh, minutes ago, well, a little bit more than that. We just sent Tuzura and the losers? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, so... Uh, Kohide actually sent Tuzura in the uh, losers bracket 3-0, to so... Yeah, Tsuzura is definitely going to have to come up with like some sort of a uh, strategy plan to, uh, you know, to uh, bring it back, I guess. So, Tiger Pop, if uh, Happy Gas was in the game, who would you have played? 
Oh lord, nice burst! <laughs> okay, nice juggle right there from Suzuna. Oh, even gets the- Oh, that was sick! That was so sick! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! And he committed to him. Uh, here we go with the freaking wake up overdrive, which is quite a signature move, <laughs> if I might say. Oh lord, and that 6 speed right in the freaking pressure of Suzuna. That was crazy, man. Freaking lord. Oh, okay, here we go with the tick throw, and he should be able to seal the deal. Don't burst, don't burst. Ah, okay, well, burst. <laughs> Good stuff from. Oh, that was a six. That was a. Uh, yeah, okay, I lied, I lied. Very nice burst right there from Suzuki. I actually managed to seal the deal thanks to it. Okay, and here we go. Very nice grab right there from Suzuki. Goes for the wall pressure using the sword throw. And Koi did. Yeah, press some buttons right there. Gonna get Calvados, though. Calvados! Good stuff from Suzura. Actually has the lead right now. If he wins this one, that would do a lot for his morale, I guess. Oh, okay, here we go. You can see the checks using the 2HS to prevent. Oh lord, that 6P was sick. Oh, that 6P was sick. And here we go with the jumping. Uh, six, uh, the jumping H for the kill. Suzura actually manages to take the first match, man. Good stuff. Is he going to bring it back? No way. That would be crazy. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see how this spins out. Very nice 2k into 6 feet into uh, simple tier up. So go the tick pressure, man. Get scooped by the 2d counter hit, man. You had to see it again with 2k. Oh lord! That last minute hit using the overdrive to secure a hard knockdown. Let's see how this spins out. There you go, closest, closest. Oh lord! Ah, uh, you can see Tizuna definitely fishing for that. That burst he wants, that burst, man. And here we go with the Ram Slam for the wall break. That was good stuff. Oh no! And that sliding grab, man, from Kohide is gonna get the juggle and the kill. Yes, he will. Good stuff from Kohide bringing it back. Needs one more to uh, have the same score as Tuzura. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go to 2D. Gonna get the. Oh, the knockdown. Good stuff. Nasante. No, no, Sante right there. Oh, Lord, that was a gold burst, but nobody was home. Yeah, Suzura also forced to pop the burst. Gets hit by the far HS, man. Yet again. Again gets hit by the 6P, man. Yeah, on, Suzura on point, uh, on point when it comes to punishing the uh, the Salt Puente. That being said, he got hit pretty badly right there by the uh, by immediate conversion into the... Uh, what's called the... Um, I forgot the name. The uh, Nasante... The... Ah, oh, damn it. The... Um, Ventania, good lord. <laughs> okay, here we go with the pressure to force Suzura to pop the burst. Here we go with the knockdown. Ah, I guess the forest gonna get the juggle in the corner. And here we go with Calvados. Get boom! Good stuff. Here we go with Suzura, gonna get the pressure. Ah, I guess it's the back dash, unfortunately, couldn't quite punish this correctly. Okay, no. Oh, Lord, and Nasante counter hit. You hate to see it. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Goes immediately for the over for the overdrive. Look at the damage. Oh, me freaking Lord. That was sick. Goes for the. Oh, safe jump. Oh, no. She wanted to get the grab. That read was uh, pretty. That, that was a pretty uh, cheeky read right there from Tuzo. If, if it had worked, that would have been crazy. Okay, here we go with the pressure. Oh lord! Oh, nice juggle right there from Koide is gonna get the wall break. Good stuff. Oh lord! Ah, oh, here we go with the 6P again. Forces to that to pop the burst. And this should do. And Kohide, man, bringing it back with a perfect. That is a huge statement from Kohide. What is Suzura gonna do? What are you gonna do, Suzura? What are you gonna do? Good lord. Oh, wait, this is the loser's final, no? Oh, this is loser's final. This is not the semi-final, my bad. Yeah. I, I was, yeah, I was thinking, what the hell? Here we go. This is the loser's final. Okie dokie. And here we go with the juggle and Kohide gets wall broken right there. With the juggle. Suzura using the bar to get an extension. He gets the side switch in order to get some good wall damage right there. Not enough to kill though. 
Zeta definitely wants this one. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, nice air to air. In favor of Sudra gets the kill. He definitely needs this round if he wants to. Uh, if he wants to uh, join Kohide and being 2-2 two to, two, to being 2-2 two to, to have a score too. Oh, here we go. The IAD, the delayed IAD to get an overhead. He's been working a lot, actually. And here we go, the juggle. And yeah, Suzuka just holding on to this burst just to use it in the final round. He's definitely going to need it. No, oh, and that 4S counter hit this did a lot of damage. We did definitely going to look for a gold burst right there. Again, with the 4S counter hit this did a lot of damage. I oh, definitely wants that run back out. Oh, you can feel it. But is he going to get it? That's the thing. Let's see how this spins up. Oh lord, here we go, man. Suzuna gonna get the... Oh, it's gonna be enough, Calvados. Calvados does deal a lot of damage, but there's a lot of Furia he's gonna kill. Good lord. And just like this, man, Suzuna taking it with a perfect of his own, man. Holy freaking lord. We're going on to the final match. Let's see how this spins out. Oh lord. Okay, here we go. Ah, that was a nice jumping counter hit. Ah, 6 HS didn't hit the mark, unfortunately. Here we go with the, oh lord, the ladder pressure combo. Woo, too far. Yeah, you don't have your, oh, you didn't have your sword, Tuzura. Tuzura gets jumped in. Nice challenge right there. Tries to bait the burst. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, yo, that 6P, man. How did it not hit? The soul pointed. That being said, here we go with the pressure from Kohita in the corner. Gets the wall break. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, no punish on the block, Nasante. You hate to see it. And here we go with the juggle for the kill by Kohide. Set point for Kohide. Who is going to take it? Is... Ah, uh, no, Lord! Okay, here we go. On the Sepultura. The, the Trova. Ah, the Sepultura, actually. Not the Trova. Ah, oh, and the juggle, man. And Kohide in prime position of taking it right now. He's going to get the... Heavy knockdown. That being said, Kohide does not have burst right now. Tsuzura does have burst, so depending on his use right there, it could turn the tides. Ah, Tsuzura out of burst. Okay, he's gonna get the uh, the counter hit right there. He's gonna get the juggle as well. That being said, Kohide does have two bars, man. That's a lot of bars, man. Ah, careful, careful. Oh, that cheeky. That was so sick. Is it gonna. No, it's not gonna kill, but. He's gonna get a wall. He's gonna get a setup as a, at least. Oh, good lord! I, I thought he was gonna kill. <laughs> that was that would have been crazy. Uh oh! I think you might have died. Or not? Oh, lord! At that point, he charged us, man. Go! He did the disrespect. The disrespect from Go. Winners side, whereas Koi is in loser side. Let's see how this spins out. Is Koi going to be able to reset the bracket? So. As all of you guys know, since this is probably not the first time you watch a tournament, uh, RF is in the winner side, meaning that he only needs to win one set in order to, uh, well, win the whole tournament. Whereas Kohide has been sent in the losers once already, so that means that he needs to win two sets in order to uh, win the tournament. So let's see how this pans out. It's gonna be a six set, man. That was extremely cool. It was, man. It was, it was. Thank you very much for the follow, Zartik, and welcome to the Browjos. You're going to wake up overdrive by Kohide, the signature move of this man. He goes for the K-Flip and the sick blocks, man, from RF are just plain sick. <laughs> You're going with the juggle from RF. He wants that corner positioning. He wants to keep it. He's going to get the wall break, though. Okay, both have pretty much sim similar health right there. Oh no, and Kohide gets hit by the mix, mix, mix. You hate to see it. Good stuff by RF. Gets the first round of this match. Let's see who, if, he, if Kohide can bring some adjustments. Oh no, he tried to go for a grab, but no. RF said, nope. <laughs> Try to grab air. You're going to grab air, sir. You're going to bomb. Preventing uh, Kohide from advancing. And you can see RF just waiting for the little fouls to come out in order to close the distance between him and Kohide. Here we go, Soul Puente, putting more distance between him and his opponent than what probably Kohide had intended. That being said, here we go, the pressure is real. Ah, oh, Lord, good stuff from RF. He's gonna get Meteor, goes for the uh, Scarecrow in order to get the uh, side switch. Little Faust is out, pressure is real. Ah, uh, Kohide forced to pop the burst. Ah, oh, Lord, and here we go, the quick dust, man. Ah, oh, unfortunately, he couldn't get the juggle. 
Uh, you can feel the nerves getting to Kohide right there. This is not characteristic of him. He usually, he usually doesn't do this type of... Uh, yeah, raining projectiles, man. You hate to see it. Okay, here we go. With uh, the challenge right there from RF, man. The chicks. Uh, Kohide, <laughs> you'd see uh, backdashing to prevent Kohide from getting the, the trumpet. <laughs> uh, this is so annoying. <laughs> okay, good stuff from RF. Here we go, he gets the knockdown. Ah, uh, okay, here we go, the tick pressure. And RF getting hit by his own bomb. You didn't just hear it. Oh, Lord! And here we go with Kohide and the aerial overdrive. He's gonna get a knockdown out of it. Doesn't go for the extension. Uh oh. Okay, good stuff, RF. Okay, here we go, finally, man. Again. Oh, that was a bomb. I thought it was uh, the meteor, though. Oh, no! No! Kohide, you hate to see it. That was unfortunate. And yeah, Kohide commits suicide by bomb. <laughs> okay, here we go with the tick pressure from Kohide. Wants to keep RF in the corner. Very nice. Uh, Trabal? Yeah, a simple term, I'm sorry. I keep mixing them up. Okay, Kohide gets the overdrive. Okay, things are looking pretty good for him this round. Let's see if he can keep continuing this. With the tick pressure. Oh no! That would have been a whiff punish if you did anything but Nasante. Okay, ah, oh, like 2 4 to punish the recovery of the spear. And yeah, RF uh, in prime position to actually get his game going. Oh lord, that was sick, but no, he still got hit by the end of the um. Of the cavalry right there from the trumpet this is so unfortunate. Ah, oh, yeah, he gets ah oh, good stuff from ah oh, Koide. Oh, couldn't quite get the dribble, but it's okay. He gets D two S on the Oki, gets the kill. Finally, puts one round on the board. Ah, uh, can he get a second one though? This is the real question. Ah, uh, gets yeah, gets hit by the forest. Ah, uh, this is looking pretty bad. Ah, uh, no, gets hit by the cavalry. Or if content to get hit like once, it's not a problem. Oh, again, here we go with the wall break. Good lord, and yeah, Kogide getting a little bit frustrated, gets hit by little Faust, and then mix, mix, mix for the chip kill, man. Or F2 to 0, man, this is looking pretty bleak for Kogide, who's already in the loser's bracket, so who already has to fight like a, you know, an uphill battle right now, so it's, yeah, this is pretty hard. Ah, uh, mix, 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 but it's okay, there's a little Faust to save the day. <laughs> little Faust, yeah, RF is definitely cooking right there again with Little Faust, man. Little Faust putting on the work, man, protecting his father. Okay, here we go with the quick dust, and yeah, Koi did. Ah, uh, this is death, yeah. Kohide on the verge of getting eliminated and RF on the verge of winning this tournament. Let's see how this pans out. I don't know what's happening, but this matchup looks like it. Yeah, it doesn't seem very fun for Kohide. Well, for, for Giovanna. You wouldn't think that it's the case, though. Like, you'd think that, like, quick characters might have, like, an edge over Kals, but it's not necessarily the case if you see, like... And both players are really good. It's not like they have, like, a huge a level disparity or anything. I mean, Kohide is definitely on top, you know, he's... he's, he's He's on top of, of everything, like, well, not of, of everything, but he's definitely up there, you know? But, um, it seems like he has a lot of problems against him. That being said, here we go, Faust family all over the screen like a school <laughs> Exactly, man. Okay, here we go with, the oh no, and the YRC, and it's not over till it's over. Oh, it forces Koita to pop the burst, but it was that a good answer? Oh no, not like this, not like this, not like this, and just like this. Just like this, RF is your Grojo Cup.